What I want to know, see, we all dug in Germany. Germany dug the second album, Resurrection, right? But we want to know what happened after that. Because, like, it's been a while since it came out. And then, you know, once in a while you did, you appeared, like, with De La Soul, we saw you on tour, but what happened in between? Well, I was just chilling, really, like, getting my business together, just getting my life together, you know. I just needed to take a little break for me, myself, get my spirit together. And I just really, I don't feel like it was my time, it, you know. It just wasn't my time to come out. I was working, but I wasn't doing this, the material that I really wanted it to come out with. So, you know, until I got into that zone, you know, by divine order, it was just, this was my time. And now, you know, I'm, I'm where I am now. One day it all makes sense, you know. Okay. So, right. so it ain't really no explanation. It's just more or less, it just wasn't my time. You know? New York in the house to come on this New York in the house to come on this New York in the house to run this New York in the house check it in Brooklyn in the house let me hear you say it See, you got, like I told you, I just got the tape before, but like from what I heard, you got a lot of touching songs in the album, right? Like you really touch subjects that a lot of people don't talk about because they're trying to be, they're too busy about being too hard and all that. So, so, so how, come, how come you actually touch those subjects, which I think is interesting? Well, you know, I don't really, I just speak what I feel and, you know, the things that I go through. And then when I use my imagination, you know I'm using my imagination because it'll be something that, that I apply to something real, but just switch it up a little bit where you know I'm just trying to be creative with it. I like writing songs that I feel because, you know, like, I'm a Pisces. We deal with emotion a lot, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just how I feel. Like, I'm in tune with God, so I believe, like, that, yo, the spirit is strong, and I'm just going to release what I feel that's within me. And I, and I know sometimes some of these, like, songs, in one way or another, go touch people, and certain people go get inspired by them. It's gonna help, you know, help people during some rough times. You know what I'm saying? It might help people during some times too, kicking it, just want to have fun. I try to bring everything to the table. You know, I ain't got nothing to hide. You know. Um, who is featured on? Who is now? It's getting real loud. It's very hot. Very loud. I hope you can hear me. No return. I want to know who is featured on your album. Like I know you got Lauren Hill on there, and you got Erica Badu. Which I respect. I think Erica Badu is the bomb right now. So who else you got on the album? Well, I have uh, besides Lauren and Erica, I have De La Soul. I got CeeLo from the Goody Mob, and the album was produced by No ID. Um, Why Not did a track on it, and Doug Infinite and the Roots did a track. Featured on um, two other songs, but they didn't rhyme with two choruses: It's Q-Tip and um, Black Thought from the Roots. Yeah. Yo, anybody got anybody got any beats? Let me kick some freestyle shit to niggas get ready. Yo. One, two. We got Diamond D in the house. Look out for his album, y'all. It's coming out soon. Hatred, fidelity, and passion. The new single is out. The hiatus. Y'all know that's the real hip hop shit right there. The beat that's good. I think they're coming through, so we got my nigga Ramos. One, two, what? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Well, tell me, can I kick it tonight? Check it. It's like this when I come to the rock seminar. Conflict become MC, they bet I'm far. Against the champ, throw off the lyrical map. Well, understand what goes down when I get under the lamp. It's like a lyrical lounge. Some MCs are rap famous. Who when I stop by the door like I was West Craven? Look at the speaker, you can understand the team.
sooner or later, we will be on the screen. Where did it go? I guess it went upstairs. Give me a drink on the bar. I see rock stars like my nigga Simon. Up the mountain, I'm climbing. Side to side like the women. Time to just swimming in the freestyle. See my nigga with the backpack. Piece the Q-tip, but I ain't abstract. I'm coming real, real. You know how I feel for it ill. The sweetest shit since Laura Hill. When I came down, you know how to man down. I know a lot of people have been asking you this, but you know Germany doesn't know about it, so we'll start with you and the ice cube beef. Even though it's old, we still need to know. But everything is peace now, nah, we ain't even, you know, dwelling on that. We came to, um, we came to peace with each other at, at um, this summit, this, this hip hop summit, like at Minister Farrakhan's house. And um, we just record, we just reconciled everything. It just like, you know, kind of, it was like a, it was almost like a million man march, but just on the smallest scale, it was real spiritual. Like when Minister Farrakhan had us there, and we just, we squashed that beef, and ain't, we ain't even thinking about that stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? So when Europe is almost over, the track that's kind of made you famous was I used to love her. Everybody knew this shit out there. Right. So I want to know what's up with the relationship you got, you know, now. Well, you know, sometimes it's like at times I don't talk to her as much or I don't get to be with her as much, right? But when I do, I come touch her like I touch her in ways that people can feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I come approach her with, with some love, or I come approach her, I come, I do different things with hip hop. I do different things with her. I go like, I might take her to the party one time. Sometimes I might just make love with her, you know what I'm saying? And just get on some spiritual stuff, take her to church or something. Then sometimes I take her to a, in a Jeep with, with my homies, just, just getting like in the blaze and just kicking it, feeling rough. Sometimes I take her to the MC contest where I just battle with her, you know what I'm saying? And like, right now I feel, this is how I feel about hip hop. It's like, I see a rebirth of, of, of hip hop and his soul coming back. And all I, I, my whole thing is like, yo, I said what I had to say during that time. Now I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna let my music show show what I feel about it and just do what I do naturally. I ain't even gonna complain no more because through complaining, you know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say. And if that's how my whole my whole relationship with her now is just love. I'm gonna bring it to her. I'm having fun with her again, you know what I'm saying? The last question for tonight, because we want to go on party, right? So the last question is, when are you coming over to Europe? When we're gonna see what you're doing on stage? Well, I can't wait to get over there, first of all. I want y'all to know that. I came through Germany for only one day with De La Soul, and it was fun, man. Like, when I named the overseas countries that I love, Germany is definitely one of them. But I'm coming to Europe. I'm going to Europe tomorrow. I'm going to London in the morning. So I should be over there on the tour coming soon. Look out for Common Sense. The album, One Day It All Makes Sense. It's due out in September. Y'all go out and get it. The single rep reminded me of Seth. And it's all love. Look out for No ID, Doug Infinite, and Why Not. We doing it like that, baby. All right. Yo, big respect, big up.